Hey guys, Darcy here. Today, we're going to go over a new app that I made for producers and engineers like yourself. Let's get into it. All right, so now that we're in here looking at this app, the app is called Studio Assist. And yes, when I say I made this, I coded the app myself. So let's take a look at what we have here. First, we have a millisecond calculator followed by scales and frequencies. And then we also have settings. Okay, so let's jump back to the first one. The use for this is primarily, for instance, when you're working with a reverb plugin, and you have to figure out how long you want your reverb to actually be the, the length of it. As well, you may also want to look at pre delay. So let's look at this from top down. First thing we have is our BPMs. we can go into here and type the BPM for a song that we're working on, let's say it's 160 BPM. And you can see that throughout the bottom, that the notations are changing as you type something, if you click these buttons here, it will also also change. So what you're seeing is either standard triplets or dotted notation, uh, and then the different notes. And you see that the icon changes when you hover over one. So when you click on one, it's going to copy it to your clipboard. And if I were to bring up my spotlight and paste this, you will see that it's actually giving you all of the um, decimal points. I'm just uh, using a rounding on the larger number just to make it visually more appealing, right? So if I click on, for instance, this 36 millimeter, millisecond, sorry, and we go paste, we have 35, right? Now, if we also want to throw in a pre-delay here, we can go and also choose a pre-delay based off of what would be in sync with the actual um, track itself. So we could say 100, 128th, and we'll add a pre uh, for the pre-delay. And then it will also remove any of the notations that are lesser than that uh, pre-delay, because otherwise it would be basically zero. So you can see that this one is now reduced, and as we adjust this, it's going to continue to reduce them. So you can basically be very quick here in terms of putting in your BPM, um, then you know getting a pre-delay, getting the actual notation in terms of uh, milliseconds, and then be able to put that into whatever reverb plugin or any other scenario where milliseconds uh, may be something you want to work with. Maybe using your using some kind of delay plugin or some kind of track delay, and then that would allow you to utilize this as well. Now, let's go up to scales and frequencies. The basics of this is fairly straightforward. You're choosing what key your song is in. You're choosing what scale it is in. We have multiple minors and majors that are in here. Um, for instance, let's switch to major. And you'll see that the keys of the actual scale are changing. Then we also have octaves. So when we switch up and down these octaves, the point of this is so that we can get different frequencies. So this can be used for two different purposes. One, we can use this just for composing if you, you know, don't have the scale memorized in your mind but also so you can also get the actual frequencies across the octave. So that way, if you're doing some form of EQ, multiband compression, um, whatever that you may need to look at the frequency of something, you can actually get that frequency. And again, we have the ability to click, and then we're going to actually get the actual frequency as a value that we can now paste into um, whatever software that we are utilizing. We also have the ability to type and search. So if I just want to put D in here, it would also reduce my list down to available options so let's say we choose d and again over here we could do something like uh type the word blues and get a major or minor blues so you don't just have to do a click drop down you can also actually type to search and then the last set of uh, sections is the settings. And this one right now is pretty straightforward. We have uh, the, the color palette will sync with your system. Mine is currently on dark. We can also switch to a light mode. And then we'll see that all of these uh, interfaces match a light mode. This is really just down to preference for yourself. Uh, and you can also say it's always in dark mode. I leave mine on system. So that way, if I switch back and forth between light and dark, I can see the difference. There's only one more feature to cover here, which is going to be feedback. And essentially, 
actually, if you, you know, when you use this app and you say, hey, I either have one of two scenarios, I have a feature that I would love to request, or I have a uh, bug that I would like to report, just fill out this form, it'll shoot me over an email into a place where I can manage it, and then I can, uh, you know, look at addressing that for you. And that's pretty much it. This is my new app called Studio Assist. It's here for whenever you need a little assist in the studio. Uh, I hope you like it and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Um, otherwise, have yourself a great day. Peace, y'all.